We're back for another vlog, and this time we're all together again. Well, I'm leaving in like six days, so we're Which trying one? to. Well, also like, I've been spending a lot of money. <laughs> You, you mentioned like, that like all recent. No, but for like me, I'm like quote unquote getting ready to go home, knowing like I'll still spend money at home. So I'm not sure why I'm trying to spend money. Like I'm like, oh, I need t-shirts for home. No, I don't. I can buy them home. My whole week, like I need to dedicate a whole week, or even whatever, to like getting home. It's what Sunday. Sunday, May seventh. I finished school last night, so I'm done with my undergrad, which is crazy. I still have two things to do. Yeah, which is so disgusting. We'll work on that and then we're gonna do some shopping, hopefully clean the apartment today a little bit. Um, we're about to go to the gym. We want to show you how we make our breakfast. Um, did I already say shop a little? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Um, and then we're gonna go back to my place. Well, I am. Okay. <laughs> so we're going back to Greensboro tonight. Um, and we'll just take you along and see what happens. We finished our workouts. Ow. It is in my shin on the conditional shop. I'm showing the beans because I'm sick of bean slander from Americans. Like you guys don't put enriched wheat flour and everything. I swear. Beans? Elizabeth, I introduced you to beans. Yeah. And you eat them a lot. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's the pace. Like, we're about to make a burrito, and I swear, the red tomato base thing, it adds a little different flavor. It adds a little different texture. You're getting health benefits. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. <laughs> but I'm sick. I am sick. Of America. Especially now on TikTok, I've been seeing, wait, let me place this down for a rant. I have been seeing on TikTok and stuff like that, um, Americans being like, um, some of it, like British food, like getting Chinese or like um, beans on toast and stuff like that. Like, as a foreigner, do you know how bleeped up y'all's food is? It is ridiculous. Like, walking in the supermarket is actually ridiculous. Like, actually, let me tell you something. When I first got here, I gained 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds, and the first week I was here, my stomach was an absolute shambles. Like, I had tummy aches all the time. If Coach Rad watches this, remember when I almost passed out? I almost passed, like I, my eyes blacked over, I had to go into the locker room during a practice because like the food is just crazy. Um, and it's very much something you have to get used to. So I don't want to hear any slander about any other people's foods um, because yours is actually probably the worst. <laughs> no offense, I've been a lot of places um, and this is the most challenging. Like being, I've like been to other countries and stuff like that and I feel like I had to be like, in America, I have to be like not cautious, but I'm like always looking at food. I'm like having to like really look into it and what I'm eating, and have to like make conscious efforts to like <laughs> get proper nutrition in. Because if I don't, then I'm just eating what's available. What's available easily is not good. It's not good. So I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that was my roundabout rant on beans. I also forgot to mention, um, I'm not not guilty. I just went on that rant, and I have tater tots in the air fryer to put in the burrito. Another thing, since we worked out earlier, I thought we might just talk about what we do when we don't have like someone telling us what to do because we're so used to that all the time. Um, and it's like different all the time, but what did you do today, Georgia? I did a Pilates video and I did arms. And then. Can you show them? No. Okay. They have special for game day. Okay. And then I walked on the treadmill because I still want to move, but I don't want to be like, do it sprints because I feel like I'm always running at like max capacity and I just need a break. We do, yeah. It's nice to do like lower impact stuff, but still like pretty intense. Incline walk gets me going still. Um, and then yeah, Pilates videos, guys, we're still on that. Uh, really enjoy that. So that's what we did today. We got a um, <laughs> mic for the podcast. Look how this came in the mail <laughs> look how sad that is it looks like you know those people that protect buckingham palace 
<laughs> Maybe fell on his head. Yeah, and it's like metal too. Like it's not like a foam. I, we got it and I was like, okay, maybe we could like mold it. Wait, it's not even focusing. Maybe we could like mold it into something. It's literally just dead broken. What a waste of money. So this is what happens when we try to get a mic for the podcast. And this is why we haven't <laughs> for the past 10 months. <sighs> Shit. Now the day is underway. Uh, we're ready to go. And right now we're gonna stop by 310 Rosemont. Um, I'm looking to get a few things before we leave to go home for a little bit. Um, maybe some jewelry, I know. We've had our eye on. Uh, but I'll keep you guys posted and you'll get to see some of this stuff. Um, welcome to 310 Rosemont. Uh, we're honored to have you. <laughs> Free people here. I love these things. I already have it in Paris. You get another one, I guess. It's so bright. Should I? Okay. We're here. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mary. Um, I'm the store manager of 310 and big fan of this <laughs> in Georgia. We're a huge fan, obviously, of the store and everything. So, how did you kind of get to the point you are at with the place? Um, I studied fashion merchandising and design in school at Virginia Tech. So um, I worked here, yes, go Hokies. <laughs> I worked here part-time while I was in school. And then after I graduated, I became the full-time manager. As podcast hosts ourselves, we love to support other podcasts. And we heard that something was happening very soon. Yes, me and my coworker Siri out there are starting a podcast. It's called Two Angry Women. <laughs> um, and I'd be lying if I said we weren't inspired by the Queens of Castle. Um, so maybe we can like collab yes. Yes, in the sure. future. <laughs> Obviously, these don't go together. But this tank top is so cute. And then. The skirt is so cute also. This goes together a bit more. Okay, so your total Wait, is wait, wait, wait. Can I mention Queens of Castle? Yeah, so usually you do get 15% off, but from now till graduation, so May 14th, you get 23% off. So I'll take that. Can you flick your leg up or something? Give us like a little like, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, you dead look like a model, bro. <laughs> Who, me? Me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> you can't handle the force. I <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Girl, you're wheezing extra loud tonight. She's got uh, extracurricular activities. It is the most physical activity you've ever watched. Yes. I'll buy you Starbucks where I can run up another step yeah. twice. If you don't get back up here in 10 seconds, you don't get Starbucks. 10, 9, 8. No, I can't cheat. You have to touch the door. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, too late, girl. <laughs> that was cruel. Come here. Come here. Oh god, feel her, feel her. Well, we've obviously made it home. We've obviously made it to my childhood home. Ow, Raven! Um, and we'll just extend this vlog into tomorrow, I guess, while we're here. Um, we'll see what happens. You happy to be here, Ween? Yeah. 
one out. Well, clean it up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, when you missed one. Hey Raven, what are you getting? A little suitcase. <laughs> Can't you tell it's my color? Yeah. Pale, like you. Dance. <laughs> what? Get over there. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> You guys make such a mess. Update, we went shopping and I dropped a bag. I wasn't wearing bleeding for the whole day, I just wore <sighs> pants. Um, from Converse, and they did me really well, but here's the real show. Very nice. I always need socks, and I don't know if anyone from school sees this. Yes, I know I can get socks, but for some reason it just doesn't hit the same as buying your own white socks. And actually just like not wearing them to work out in, because then they get grey. <clears throat> Got a cute little y y yanyard. Oh, lanyard. Let me see. A cute little lanyard. We got the same one. For my keys at home because I leave in four days? I leave on Friday morning. It's Monday. And then here's where I got a bit ridic. Here's where I got a bit ridiculous. Um, we'll start off with this slide. So I am a huge up tempo girly. And I already have like a pair, but I was like, oh, I don't really want to spend like 175 on a pair. But the slides came out, so I bought the Optimbro slides. They're probably, a lot of people probably hate them, but I love them. They're cute. I think they're cute, and that's all that matters. And then, went a bit ridic. I got some shoes, some more shoes. Um, I've always wanted, I wanted the lucky green ones, but they're about to come out, and they were ending, gonna end up being like, because I know I would not win them, so I would have to re buy them resell. Buying them resell was just not in my, well I say it's not in my bank account availability, I just spent so much money. But it wasn't reasonable. Um, so I saw these on the shelf and I was like, yeah, I need to get them. So that was my haul. I'll quickly show what I got. We've already gotten unready, so, and I'm tired. <laughs> Georgia helped me justify this purchase because when we go to footy games in Australia, it'll be cold. And this is like a Levi's, it's from like the Levi's store, um, like denim bomber jacket I guess, but it's like really thick and it's lined and cute and Winnie's adding in her thoughts. And then from Nordstrom, first I got this necklace, I got this like cross necklace, and it's like gold and silver, I like that it's both because I want to be able to like wear both. The main reason we went to the mall, well that's what we say, we don't really need a reason. Um, but I needed a graduation dress, so I found this one at Nordstrom, and it's like exactly what I wanted, and it was only $40, which is nice. The necklace was like 80 so, and the Levi's jacket was only like 60 something, which is pretty cheap, I think, for what it is. Oh, dang, they look so good with those pants. I'm just in a blue mood, and I'm not depressed at the color blue. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, we're all scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. And from Sephora, Dr. Jart. Nobody cares about this. Yeah, they do. Dr. Jart, Ceramide and Moisturizing Cream, whatever. Y'all, I got dry skin. I got eczema. I'm the first time I'm mentioning that on this. <laughs> That's like my number one personality trait. I have eczema everywhere and I'm itchy. What's that vine? Uh, yeah. Have you guys seen uh, that vine? Yeah. Where that little kid looks at that guy and he's like, you got eczema? <laughs> Have you seen that? Yes, yeah, yes, that's been... Excited. No, 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 it's so funny. I just got a green eyeliner because it's fun. 